Marvin, what do you make of all this? Man, I don't even have an opinion. Well, you gotta have an opinion. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hilarious accidental movie kills. Oh, pills. Okay. pills are good. For this list, we'll be looking at outrageous and funny movie kills that were committed entirely by accident. This means some side splitting spoilers. Which of these did you find the funniest? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10 The Imaginary Bushes, The Other Guys. If this movie is remembered for anything, it's the hilarious sequence involving Dwayne Johnson and Samuel L. Jackson. Tell me again why you decided to get on this roof. I think you can chalk that up to bad life choices. They parody over-the-top buddy action movies by playing NYPD detectives with a penchant for wanton destruction. While chasing a criminal, they find themselves atop a massive building. They decide to jump off by aiming for the bushes. You thinking what I'm thinking, partner? Aim for the bushes. There are just a few problems. One, there are no bushes. Two, they are so high up that it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Unsurprisingly, they splatter onto the ground and totally confound the police force. It's a great visual, and the music makes it even funnier. There wasn't even an awning in that direction. No, I know. Jump 20 stories. Doesn't make sense, does it? Number 9. Harry Shoots Chad. Burn After Reading. The Coen brothers really know how to swerve expectations. It's what makes them masterful storytellers. What do we learn, Palmer? I don't know, sir. Brad Pitt was plastered all over this movie's marketing, and viewers were led to believe that he would be the hero of the story. Well, that wasn't to be. About halfway through the movie, Chad sneaks into Osborne's house to steal some files, only to find Harry sleeping with Osborne's wife, Katie. God damn it, he knows, doesn't he? He's a nice lord. He knows what? About us. He knows about us, little prick. He hides in the bedroom closet, which proves to be his hilarious and hilariously shocking undoing. Harry opens the closet door to find a smiling Chad and instinctively shoots him in the head. It toes the line between accidental and intentional, but either way, it is gut-bustingly funny. You know, in a really dark sort of way. <laughs> Number 8. Mentals Pills – Dumb and Dumber Harry and Lloyd are many things – charming, dumb, also killers. Life's a fragile thing, Harry. One minute you're chewing on a burger, the next minute you're dead meat. Accidental killers, mind you, but killers all the same. It's established that antagonist Mental has a stomach ulcer and regularly takes medication to curb its symptoms. Harry and Lloyd prank Mental by stuffing his hamburger with hot peppers, so Mental's ulcer goes crazy. So what are you going to ask him? Vacation? Why don't you eat up and we'll tell you. <coughs> Genuinely trying to help, the two buffoons give Mental what they think is medication. However, it's actually a vial of rat poison that Harry had retrieved from Mental's jacket. He makes the horrifying realization right before dying, accompanied by the sound of a hilarious stomach gurgle. Check, please. Check, please, indeed. Number 7. A Very Convincing Effect – Tropic Thunder Sometimes, graphic violence can be used to uproarious effect. Case in point, the director's death in Tropic Thunder. You're sitting on a nest of hostile enemy VC. Congratulations, fats. You just got us all killed. To get a better performance out of his actors, crappy director Damien Cockburn brings them to the middle of the jungle. He then tells them that he'll be shooting the movie with hidden cameras to capture their genuine reactions. And I will be shooting as well from unseen vantage points so that... Every glorious moment is captured on film. Seconds later, he makes one bad move and steps on a very real landmine, resulting in his body being vaporized into a bloody cloud. Everything comes together perfectly for this gag. The timing, the darkly comical visual, and the brilliant little yeah! that Damien utters right before exploding. Yeah! <laughs> Number 6. The Troublesome Machete Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story Who knew a machete could be the cause of so much hilarity? 
Come on, Dewey. There's nothing wrong with a little machete fighting. Now, on guard! Johnny Cash's brother died from a table saw, and this event was shown in his biopic, Walk the Line. Dewey Cox parodies this scene with Dewey accidentally cutting his brother in half with a machete. The laughs come from the crude visual effect and the nonchalant reaction of Dewey's brother, both of which combine to make for a memorable scene. I'm cutting half pretty bad. In case I don't make it, then you have to be double great for the both of us. Later, Dewey's vengeful father challenges him to a machete duel, only to die in the exact same manner as his son. Same crude visual effect and all. Luckily, Dewey's father forgives him right before dying, realizing just how easy it is to accidentally cut someone in half. You be a better father than I was, Dewey. I'll try, Paul. It shouldn't be that hard. Number 5. Chubbs, Happy Gilmore Wanting to earn some money for his grandmother, aspiring hockey player Happy Gilmore enters golf tournaments on the advice of Chubbs Peterson. Who the hell are you? I'm the club pro here. Chubbs Peterson, and I'm offering to teach you how to play golf personally, for free. Chubbs was once a pro golf player who was forced to retire after an alligator bit and severed his hand. Chubbs befriends and trains Happy in golf, and to show his appreciation, Happy gets him a little gift. Oh, I got something for you too, pal. What? Yeah, I mean, I figured if it wasn't for you, none of this would have happened, right? So I wanted to show my appreciation. That gift being the severed head of the alligator who stole Chubbs' hand. Unfortunately, this startles Chubbs so badly that he staggers away in fear and falls out the window to his death. Remember the gator that got your hand? I got his head. Thankfully, the death is quite comical thanks to the presence of a random passerby who shakes his head in disbelief. Number 4. Ludwig Will Be Alright, The Naked Gun, From the Files of Police Squad This is probably one of the most elaborate villain deaths in movie history. By design, of course. Stay where you are, villain. He's got a gun. I know. The bumbling police lieutenant Frank Drebin shoots Vincent Ludwig with a stun dart. Despite saying that it'll be all right, the stunned Ludwig proceeds to fall off the roof of Anaheim Stadium to his death. You killed him. No, no. He's just stunned. He'll be all right in a couple of minutes. In typical David Zucker fashion, his body is then run over by a bus, flattened by a passing steamroller, and trampled on by a marching band. This is a wonderful example of Zucker's brand of humor, which is to keep ramping things up to ludicrous and nonsensical levels and hope the audience laughs along. That's so horrible. I know it. They usually do, and typically out of sheer bewilderment. Number 3. The Gasoline Fight – Zoolander Some people have pillow fights, some have water balloon fights. The friends of Derek Zoolander have gasoline fights. You know what could really help you sort through these important issues? What? Orange Mocha Frappuccino! It goes about as well as one would expect. Zoolander and his friends take a joy ride through New York to the joyous music of Wham! and stop at a gas station. They proceed to spray each other with windshield cleaner and gasoline, and when Brint has the brilliant idea to light up a cigarette, everyone but Zoolander erupts in a massive explosion. The scene is hilariously shot in playful slow motion, complete with lots of glittering water droplets and childishly ecstatic faces. It contrasts wonderfully with their horrific deaths, making the entire scene that much funnier. If there's anything that this horrible tragedy can teach us, it's that a male model's life is a precious, precious commodity. Number 2. All the Deaths – Tucker and Dale vs. Evil A great parody of the slasher genre, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil is all about hilarious accidental deaths. Do some of your friends take medication? Why? because I think they forgot to take it. The titular Tucker and Dale are two nice and well-meaning country folk who buy a rundown lakeside cabin. They inadvertently get the attention of some camping college kids who believe that Tucker and Dale are malicious hillbillies straight out of deliverance. How about I make some tea and and we all sit and, and talk this out? Oh yeah, yeah, it sounds like a good idea. I'll provide the finger sandwiches. The kids proceed to kill themselves in elaborate and amusing accidents like impaling themselves on trees and throwing themselves into wood chippers. 
These deaths are, of course, further pinned on Tucker and Dale. The entire movie is a great exercise in miscommunication and misunderstanding. It's intelligent, it's hysterical, and it's filled with many side-splitting death scenes. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Columbus Shoots Bill Murray – Zombieland This zombie comedy could very well feature the greatest cameo in movie history. Who's Bill Murray? Hey, I've never hit a kid before. I mean, that's like asking who Gandhi is. Who's Gandhi? It's unexpected, it's perfectly brief, and it ends in the most priceless manner possible. Tallahassee takes the gang to Bill Murray's mansion, and it's here that he and Wichita meet the man himself. Bill Murray, you're a zombie? <laughs> Unfortunately, both Columbus and Little Rock are in the home theater watching Ghostbusters. Murray decides to play a prank on the jumpy Columbus by acting like a zombie. Unfortunately, Columbus proves just a little too fast and blows a hole through Murray's chest with a shotgun. The shooting couldn't be funnier, as it's both perfectly timed and shot, no pun intended. So do you have any regrets? <laughs> Garfield, maybe? Murray also goes out in spectacular fashion by regretting Garfield, and Wichita giggles at his dying wheeze. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just gets me. <laughs> but it still is sad. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.